Keanu missed out on Snapper and Manley and then ended up heading to South Africa, turning a huge result in the Challenger Series. As we look at the roll in now, John John Florence, big layback hack, nails that one. Here comes the wind up, extended top turn, perfect transition into the pit, still traveling. Florence gets the exit. Off the bottom and off the top and shuts this one down. What a special human, an incredible surfer that sees things that nobody else can. Hit the lip, lay back, big down carve into the barrel. I mean, is it emulating his uh, final wave last year, but this was like the bingo bangle. Coming close to the landing on about three of them in the seat. John doing that classic down carve wrap, speeding down the line, big layback, power gouge. Lays it down one more time, right by Keanu. And somehow still riding away. That turn looked impossible, and he was able to ride out with control. The magician doing what he does best. Welcome back to the Jersey John Jump. Let's watch this one from the beginning, Rosie. Yeah, good flow through that first section. Starts to lay that rail, waiting for this one to wind up. You see him kind of burn that speed and then gather it again. Wow, that gouge was so tight, so critical. And then again, just blast that tail out. Rides of his competitor. I hope your Achilles is okay. You can't get on your sing. Yeah, it's very fun for us from watching these heats come in. It's very fun for you when the conditions are like this to surf. What was working so well for you? Um, <laughs> I don't know. There's just a lot of opportunity out there right now. And so it's kind of fun to have when you have heats like that. It's just when you know there's going to be tons of waves coming in. And so it's not so much of a like, you're not really too, you're worried about picking the right one, but for the most part, like you'll always kind of have another opportunity. Um, and yeah, so it kind of just simplifies it a lot. It's more just surfing. And I love surfing when it's like this out here. It's one of the best waves in the world, I think. So how do you pick the best wave for you when it's like this and you know there are a lot of opportunities? What do you look for? Um, today, it's, it's a little difficult because it's kind of messy and you don't, I just kind of simplified in my head, like, don't go on the first one. It's going to be probably most likely bumpy. And then you can, they're kind of hard to tell, but there's a lot of them that are splitting off and doubling up. And the wave kind of goes out the back of the double up. Um, and you don't want to be on those. I, I had two waves like that in the beginning that were kind of odd. They just went outside. and um, But sometimes it's just really hard to tell. And so you kind of want the, the best ones right now with the swell are these deep ones that come from really far back and underneath the whole way. Um, and yeah, those are the best. You picked the right ones today. Moving on to tomorrow, where's your head at going into the final day? Uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I think tomorrow is going to be absolutely pumping. The, the swell, every, the wind, everything looks really good. The wind should clean up a lot, go a little more east. Um, you never know until we wake up, but we'll, we'll see. Hopefully it's good. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you.